Hey, what's up everyone? Moy Crows in here, and we have a brand new breakdown for you today on Malik Willis. So we're gonna start the video right now. This is the newest edition of the performance lab. Reach your individual goals. You don't want to just talk about straight line speed. We also want to talk about your ability to be quick. We break down your video. Let's make you into the quarterback I know you can become. All right, so this is a really exciting video just because Malik Willis, in some people's mind, is the number one quarterback prospect here coming into the 2022 draft class. And so, and, and I don't know if everybody knows about, you know, who he is. He came from Auburn, uh, transferred to Auburn, ended up going to Liberty right now. Uh, at this point in the season, he's got, what is it, about 2,300 yards passing, 23 touchdowns, 11 interceptions in terms of uh, his throwing, his rushing numbers are also really good as well. Uh, you know, it has, has rushed for a few, like four or 500 yards on the season. And, you know, just one of those guys that uh, is not going to be the next, you know, Tom Brady um, or, you know, Joe Flacco. I'm watching the games this weekend. Um, you know, he's not going to stand around the pocket is the point, right? He's going to be somebody that's going to be mobile. Uh, most of his passes look more like this where he's rolling out to the side and it's able to get the ball out of his hands quickly, able to make a play, and just has a really supreme amount of accuracy on those types of throws. I mean, he's great at being able to extend the play. You can see a few of these throws here, uh, but we will go into his mechanics to be able to see, you know, here's another nice run, to be able to see some of the things that he does really nicely. So big thing that, you know, he, he's drawing, I guess, comparisons to Trey, Lawrence, Trey Lance, sorry, uh, just because he has a really strong arm like Trey Lance does. Uh, you know, watching him, I don't really see, you know, I guess there are some similarities there uh, just because I guess the running style and, and the ability to, to, to run a lot and how the run game really out, opened up his passing game, uh, which really seems like how Malik Willis plays the game. You know, he, he really relies a lot on his ability to run around and make plays to be able to really run the offense. I just think he does it a little bit more effectively than, you know, Trey Lance. And, and that's just obviously my opinion. So big thing here. Does a great job of loading, right? So you can see where he, where he's at with his body. Really sits down into that back hip and really pushes and, and is able to get a lot of you know momentum going off of that back leg. Now he doesn't do a great job of loading through that front leg, right? So he does a really great job of loading into his back leg and really putting a lot of force initially into the into the ball. But he doesn't do a great job of transitioning all that weight forward. So I, I do think he could actually be you know, better from a, um, you know, throwing the, the ability to, to put a lot on the, the ball can actually improve. Uh, but he is really, really accurate. I will say that. Uh, and I think that that comes from, you know, how he, you know, the comfortability that he has within that, that front foot. Now, here we're going to go look to see, you know, some of his mechanics or how long it takes him to get the ball out of his hands. One, four, five, zero, six, seven. And then he gets the ball out. Let's say... 5.367, right? Another 0.3. Okay, so, you know, here, time and time again, top quarterback, 0.3 seconds to get the ball out of his hands. Now, we can see he does have a little bit of an elbow dip, too. You know, as he comes back, it does look like he, he drops that elbow a little bit there. Uh, it's not too bad, but you can see he's one of these guys that has just an extremely great amount of external rotation in, or sorry, extension within that lower back right? And also that external rotation within the shoulder. So it's a combination of extension in the lower back, right? Or in the spine, and also an extreme amount of external rotation in the shoulder. So he's a very, very flexible. Quarterback University is where committed quarterbacks come to take their game to the next level. Improve your throwing power, velocity, accuracy, and get the ball out of your hands faster. Not only are there videos to improve your mechanics, but there's also workout tutorials and also drills to help you improve as well. We want to help you get noticed, which is why we also included a recruiting services section. We'll have quizzes that you'll be able to take to be able to make sure that you actually get the information and are able to repeat it back. In case you have any shoulder, back, wrist, or elbow soreness, there is a section to address that as well. Click the link here in order to get started. Thanks for watching. Okay, he has great, great flexibility, which, you know, as a quarterback, uh, if you're not working on your flexibility, I don't know, you know, why you're really trying to be a quarterback. You know, you have to question how serious you really want to be a quarterback, right? Um, you know, obviously, arm talent comes a lot from overall flexibility. And so if it's not there, then it's going to be a lot more difficult for you to be able to be 
as successful as a quarterback, especially if you're younger, you know, like you could really set yourself up for having a longer career if you take the right actions when you're a little bit you know, younger, when you're more of a youth athlete. So if you're you know, 14, 15, even 17, you know, and you're already taking care of your arm, you're already taking care of your elbow, you're already taking care of your shoulder, then you, know, you are really setting yourself up to be a professional athlete, right? I, I tell this to people all the time where it's like, look, you can't tell yourself that you wanna be a you know, professional at anything and not treat yourself that way now. Right. It's not like when you get to, you know, play for the Patriots or play for, you know, whoever your favorite team is, the Niners or whatever, that, you know, now is the time that you can start taking care of your arm, taking care of your body, eating right, sleeping right, blah, blah, blah. You have to do that now. Right. You have to take care of yourself now and treat your body as if you are a professional athlete now. And then you can build yourself up to be able to compete with those types of people. And it also makes it, that has a big impact on your psychology. Now you go into games, you go into situations, you go into practices with a different level of determination and grit and you know capability because that mindset is different. But you know, if you go and you're not taking care of your body, you're not taking care of yourself, then you, know, you can't expect all the guys around you to be able to perform at the same level. And you really can't even expect yourself to perform at a high level. So now when you go and you compete against these other high level guys, then you know there's going to be a difference in performance based off of you know how well you do the little things okay so just be aware of that don't go in and, and be lackadaisical with your future with your life with your body right like you only got one body you got to be able to use the most of it all right so here we're going to go and see a push off that back leg rotation you know he can probably do a better job with disassociation as well you know i like here nice and stable within that front arm within that front side as he's coming through again you know he he doesn't do necessarily a bad job within that front leg but he just doesn't shift all of his weight onto that front leg he kind of rotates around it there uh, which makes me almost think he might have some ankle you know instability or some balance instability on that left leg you know something that can be addressed potentially but you know it all just kind of depends on how much that ends, ends up impacting him right like I'm a big proponent of don't fix it if it's not broken, you know? So if there's parts of it that are not, you know, necessarily broken, then we don't necessarily need to put, you know, then we don't need to really fix it, okay? Um, like his release, you know, he's getting the ball out in 0.3 seconds. There's not a ton that you can do when you have somebody that's able to generate that much force in his throw that quickly, you know? Like, you know, if anything, I would, I would try to work um, on being able to make it so his front leg was something that, you know, he really felt comfortable in. I don't even know if I was working with him, if I would do a lot of stuff within his throwing, you know, mechanics. So just want to make sure timing was really good. You know, like that, that's my question when you're watching him and it comes to translating to the NFL is like, is he going to be able to have the timing? Is he going to be able to have the rhythm? Is he going to be able to, to do the, the small things that, you know, a lot of these NFL quarterbacks can do very, very well. Uh, and I think a lot of us take for granted when we're watching, you know, the games on Sundays, um, you know, so, you know, that's the question to me is how well is he going to be able to do that? Because obviously he can make the plays. Obviously he can get the ball out of his hands quickly. Obviously he has the arm strength and the arm talent. Uh, you know, so I would like to see, you know, some of the ability for him to be able to, you know, I'm just watching more so highlights here of a, a few different videos. You know, he's rated the number one guy. You know, he's rated above uh, Matt Corral and Kenny Pickett and, you know, some of these other guys that I've already done breakdowns on. So, you know, obviously there's something that, that a lot of these scouts are seeing. And, you know, I will say he, you know, when you watch his film, there's nobody in college football that has film, you know, like him in terms of how well he can move around and, and you know, how he's able to create so much space from, you know, defenders and, and still be able to throw, you know, the ball really, really far. I mean, he, he's very, very unique. Uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching the video here. If you like the information, go and click that thumbs up down below. Subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments, or recommendations, let me know. Uh, as always, you know, check out some of the things we have down below. We are going to do some Black Friday deals that I think will be great. Uh, check out Quarterback University. You know, all we're trying to do is we're trying to make it so you have a release that's under, you know, 0.35 is really the point that I, I try to make. You know, 0.4 is good. 0.35 is, is closer to what the great quarterbacks, right? I want you to know what it's gonna take to be a great quarterback. So I want you to get the ball out of your hands in 0.35 seconds. I want you to be able to throw the ball 35 yards on a line. 
I want you to be able to max out at 55 to 60 yards in terms of your deep throw. Like those three things seem like those are the three things that are necessary in order to play division one football, in order to play professional football. Like you have to be able to do those three things. Yeah, you also have to be able to make the plays in the game, but you know, I can't make it so you make plays in the game. I can make it though, or I can help you in understanding how to get the ball out of your hands quickly. I can help you in being able to improve your throwing velocity and your throwing power. I can help you with your accuracy. Unfortunately, I can't really put any type of specific you know, data points behind accuracy. I could do that with the release time and the velocity and the throwing distance, but you know, accuracy is something that you, know, you, have, you can't really put data points behind other than like completion percentage and stuff like that, but all that goes back into the game. So point being is the standards, you know, my targets are here. My standards are here. I wanna work with the guys that really take this serious and are really committed to it because I think that those guys are gonna get the most out of my program. If you're looking to you know, have something that is not really for you know, committed athletes, there's plenty of things on the internet where you can go, you know, go to a camp for, for, for one weekend and you know, go and do that and have some fun or whatever, spend some money, do that. But if you're ready to dedicate yourself for three months, then that's what we're gonna do. You know, we're gonna go into this with a 100% commitment not with the idea that, you know, come out for a few days and, and hopefully we help you get, get a little bit better. So uh, check out some of the links in the description and thanks for watching the video. I'll talk to you soon.